Welcome to the Herbal Walk, powered by the Herbal Academy. Come join me. So this is Yellow Dock, Rumex Crispus. The leaves of Yellow Dock are lanceolate and the, the edges are undulate, so it gives it that curly look or sometimes called crisp look, um, hence the Latin name Rumex Crispus. Yellow Dock leaves are edible and I tend to go for the smaller newly unfurled leaves. The larger the leaves get, the more um, the more tough they are as well as they're more sour and pungent and not really in a good way. What I think is really interesting about Yellow Dock is this little papery sheath here. This is called the Ocrea and this if you peel this back a little you'll notice there's like a slimy substance in there and if we can find a smaller leaf here um, that's just emerging the purpose of that ochrea and that that slimy substance is to protect the leaf as it's emerging and unfurling you see it was curled up like this and it's slowly unfurling it's to protect it from tearing um, and what's really cool is you can see which leaves have recently opened up. I mean, this one obviously has recently opened it up, but as they open from the center first, you see that's already darker than these lighter edges. So you'll see lines on the newly opened leaves. The way I like to use yellow dock root is to, um, in iron rich formulas. So it contains a, a decent amount of iron. It's not particularly high, but it seems to help improve the bioavailability of iron to the body. And so I'll include it in, you know, along with burdock and dandelion root um, in a syrup with molasses just um, for some supportive addition of iron to my diet. Thank you for joining me on our herb walk today. If you're interested in learning more about botany and wildcrafting, visit herbalacademy.com.